Wind power in America continues to grow and evolve, and the Kalamazoo Valley Community College's Wind Turbine Technician Academy is growing and evolving right alongside this cutting-edge renewable energy industry. We look at our function here is to respond to the needs of industry. This is where our program is quite non-traditional when you compare it to other academic-based programs. Um, we ask the industry, what are the skill sets, how do you prove them hands-on in your companies, and what is important for your technicians to know? Skills standards developed by the BZEE of Husum, Germany, serve as the foundation for the certification students work to achieve. The instructors here at the Wind Turbine Technician Academy understand that today's students are tomorrow's technicians. So the 26-week course is not only intense, it's as true to real working conditions as they can make it. We come back and develop these training scenarios um, using real equipment, real tools on real turbines and combine it with field experience where we actually maintain four operating machines, uh, two 900s and two 2.5 megawatt machines. And we feel that we're training the exact same way that the industry would train if they had to hire directly and train them themselves. On this routine maintenance check, students were part of the team that discovered bearing damage that required much more in-depth service. It's another unique learning opportunity for these KVCC students as they help dismantle and repair two large-scale turbines. Again, these are real producing turbines and we're, we're actually doing the work on these. Because we're able to do this, Crystal Flash has also enabled our students to be able to come with us on service calls. Um, so that, that's where the real value of it lies. And again, um, students being able to work on real turbines and do real service calls, I think, is absolutely invaluable. Well, I think it's, it's very important. The, the wind industry is, is growing tremendously. There's a, there's a lot of need for employment out there for good technicians. Um, there are hundreds and hundreds of megawatts of turbines that are out there that are coming out of warranty uh, as we speak in the next coming years because the industry uh, is just developing so fast that um, there will be a need of these good technicians out there for a long time ahead of us. Back on the campus, the academy follows a curriculum that is as demanding as it is current, with feedback from past students and their employers playing a key role in this development. One thing that we've done because we're a constantly improving process is listen to our first graduates out of the first two classes, say, what did you know well, what did you not know so well, and what could we have done less of based on what you're seeing in the field. So very quickly we've implemented those changes into the third class. These changes affect how the instructors teach. Uh, one of the best parts that I thought is I started learning so quickly. I didn't think that, you know, I always knew I was smart, but I mean, these teachers over here, they, they teach differently for me. I mean, we've always had a hard time in school. Well, this isn't your basic school. I mean, they learn hands-on and I, I adapted quickly and learned so many things that I never thought I could learn. Changing in direction or magnitude. Classroom chemistry also plays everyone a big part in how these rate. students learn. Well everyone having different backgrounds as far as electricity and mechanical, if you don't understand something and the instructor's busy, you're definitely able to go and say you don't understand something in electricity. Well there's a good chance that a lot of other guys are going to be able to explain something to you and, and you can definitely feed off them in that way. Trainees at the Wind Turbine Technician Academy are required to demonstrate their ability to use the tools and equipment they will rely on in the field as part of the course. Laser alignment, vibration analysis, and even thermography with FLIR cameras are just some of the tools put in the hands of these students. Trainees use equipment such as working nacelles, cranes, and uniquely engineered trainers like this one, made specifically for this academy to develop their competencies. Svenborg in Denmark, uh, the world's largest manufacturer of turbine brakes currently, um, they custom built us a training system uh, that consists of a high speed caliper brake and a yaw brake with its own hydraulic system, PLC controlled. And uh, we use that, the guys actually go through pad changes and inspections and fault diagnostics and servicing on that piece of equipment. 
identical to what they see in two of the four turbines that we service currently. The Wind Turbine Technician Academy is also keeping pace with the latest safety standards, and that means students put on this suit and get training in arc flash safety. Of course, the best path to safety is to train where you'll work, and these students are going to work at great heights. Well, our most recent addition to the, uh, the training aids, per se, is the 100-foot uh, the climbing tower that you see out in the parking lot. Um, that was the tower that our first wind turbine that we purchased actually sat on in Denmark. And we took that tower and we did some redesign work with an engineering firm and developed it into a wind industry specific training system for work at height, climb safety and rescue from heights. Not a bad way to spend a day of learning. The training tower is a real useful tool. You know, it, it's very different in most of the people in the program didn't have any experience with, with repelling or even climbing something as high as that. And, um, you know, we used fall protection and, and all of the different levels of learning, our OSHA training and, you know, uh, all the safety training before we ever go into the tower and, and climb and repel. And it, it just offers a unique advantage that most schools don't have. There you go. The unique combination of demanding classroom studies Lab work where theory is applied and hands-on field experience puts graduates of the KVCC Wind Turbine Technician Academy on the path to success. We're pretty proud when we hear about their successes. Sometimes we're even a little jealous as instructors. They get to go to some places we've never seen. Sometimes going places means coming home. Michigan native Kevin Miller, a graduate of the first class of the Wind Turbine Technician Academy, is coming back to teach. I actually turned down a manager job to, to come and do this because of the fact that I really like the hands-on, showing people how to do the things right, and uh, basically the day-to-day -day hands on is my, my favorite part of it. His goal as a teacher fits lockstep with the Academy's goals. Seeing that the industry still finds our students to be the, the top in the industry is, is really how I gauge it. By seeing how these companies are really looking for these students, to see that more and more companies are doing the same, that's really how I would gauge it, to make sure these people are getting jobs as quickly as they are right now. I think there's, there's a few very good programs around the country. Um, I think we stack up at least as good as those. Um, my KVCC pride says we're the best. Um, what we're hearing is we're doing a very good job and we're exceeding expectations of the manufacturers. The Kalamazoo Valley Community College's Wind Turbine Technician Academy keeps pace with the needs of industry. Graduates are prepared for success as they begin new careers as wind turbine technicians and to become leaders in the wind industry tomorrow.